Hi Libra, it is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. It's going to be your own reading today, Libra. And um, I have your Oracle cards here, and I'm putting out your Tarot cards. Hope you guys are all well. It's going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And Libra, you have new things going on in your life for sure. I mean, for me, this is, uh, it's exciting. Uh, you could be leaving something here that's not working for you anymore. In fact, I feel like I started out with these Oracle cards, and uh, they were the time is now. You are exactly where you need to be. You also have uh, the card of La Primavera, and this is like starting something new. This talks about the spring. It doesn't have to be the spring. This is, uh, you know, the title they use here. This is uh, you're beginning something new, and you're being, like, powerful. Like, whatever's in your way or whatever was, you know, I'm not sure if something was in your way, but whatever was kind of maybe even challenging you a little bit, you're just standing up to it. Yeah, she who resists, this is Adas. And this is like having the audacity, that's why they have named this woman this, I'm sure. Having the audacity, like having the courage, this is being fearless. Mm -hmm. And that's, what's, uh, that's what this is. Whatever you're doing, you could be saying, well, you could be justifying it. Like, you could be saying, uh, I should be doing this, something like that. And then we have the pig spirit, use your mind wisely. The owl is here, so you see clearly as well. Mm-hmm, reminds me of that song by, by Johnny Nash. I can see clearly now. It's kind of a reggae. Who's a, uh, I think he was a Jamaican guy. Very cool song. It wasn't reggae, but he, I think he was Jamaica. Jamaican have a little tiny bit of uh, that sound to it so here we have excuse me in the heart of the matter you're leaving something here you could be real frustrated uh, maybe you wanted to leave for a long time mm hmm you look like you are like uh, walking away from something <clears throat> that maybe wasn't uh, just something I feel like that was giving you uh, like a hard time or challenging you here the Seven of Swords is here. Maybe you are planning it. You could just be kind of planning it here. <clears throat> Let's see what else we have. We have two cards about leaving. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you are... Uh, and you could be wondering if somebody is walking away here as well. Maybe somebody you're dealing with. Are they walking away? Are they planning? Mm -hmm. Or are they being sneaky? Something like that. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody here who's been, <clears throat> who has been challenging at best, for sure. And let's see what we have. And you have the Nine of Wands. So it's like you're expecting this ending, or you, you even want it. I feel like you do. You probably want an ending here because something looks really, like, just difficult, for sure. The Ace of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. So you could be thinking, it's possible you want something new with somebody else and you're walking away from a situation here. Uh, but definitely, whatever is ending here, you feel like it's, <clears throat> for me, it's good. You're like, yeah, it's, uh, this is what I need to do. We have the Five of Swords and the Emperor, and this is coming into play. Mm -hmm. This is defeat, and you are planning here. The Seven of Swords too. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is a real burden for you. Uh, this is a turning point in your life. You could be dealing with Aries, maybe. We have the Fool here, too. Uh, so far, we have the Moon, Pisces, or Cancer, and the Death card over here. This is Scorpio. Gemini showing up here, too, with the Lovers. But this is a, a major burden for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like you have to defeat somebody. It's possible you feel defeated here. But in any event, you're like, it's time for me to go. Yeah, this isn't, I know what to do now. And then we have the Page of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. You might be wondering here if somebody's been holding on to somebody else. Maybe this was your energy. I wonder if I should hold on to this. I feel like there was some thinking here for sure about this. We have two sevens right here, uh, you know, together. So this is like, you know, you've really been thinking about this. Mm-hmm. You could have felt uh, maybe in a way like you were kind of blocked from leaving for some reason. I don't know what that, uh, this could be a feeling here about 
uh, you felt blocked or somebody kind of felt blocked about just kind of being held behind. Maybe, or, you know, maybe you really thought about this. Because it does look like you really, really thought about this for sure. Mm -hmm. We have all these cards of, uh, like, you're kind of, you know, evaluating that. The Six of Cups is here and the Ten of Swords. So, you're like, this could be you leaving behind uh, somebody, like, from your past. And, you know, that could be many things, right? You could have maybe returned to somebody from your past. But there's somebody here, I believe, from the past with the Six of Cups. And the Ten of Swords, you're ending a situation with that person. Or it's also possible here that you are thinking if somebody else is ending something here. Or if somebody, I feel like what you are doing is <clears throat> you're like, you don't trust somebody here for some of you guys. Yeah. And so you're like, I feel like you've been thinking about this a while and uh, you're thinking I have to go. I mean, your, your thinking here is, it looks like you feel challenged by it. You don't really look like you're grieving it, but, oh, maybe we have the Nine of Swords over here. Oh, this is worry. Yeah, this is worry. Hmm. Okay. But whatever you're thinking here, it's time to go or do something new or you're thinking it's for the best, for sure. And we have the Moon here and the Seven of Cups reversed. Mm-hmm. I feel like you have you could have had like doubts and things like that about somebody uh, whether or not they had options. And we have the Seven of Swords, uh, the Nine of Swords, I beg your pardon, and the Ace of Swords here. And so here you are worried. You're worried about a victory. It's either that or you have some major clarity here about the situation. But you look like you are wondering here. You You know what to do here, but I feel like you are kind of... You could be just like, I know what to do, I'm going to venture out on my own, or I need to leave this behind. Whatever that is, uh, that is clear, like like what you need to do, but you're not entirely clear about somebody here. Like, you're not sure, but you're sure what you are doing is the right thing, it looks like. And we have the Fool reversed, and this is your hopes and fears, and uh, the Five of Wands. There's, I feel like there's competition, uh, there could be in this reading. There might be competition with somebody. Uh, or you're just feeling it's possible here. Uh, I just feel like you feel really challenged. Uh, let's see what else we have. The High Priestess. There could be a water sign here. We have a lot of, we have the moon and the High Priestess. Mm hmm. I just feel like you, you, it's possible here that you think that somebody has a secret and you don't, you're like, I don't want to be involved in this. Mm -hmm. We have, and in the outcome, we have the Gemini card. We have the lovers and the six of wands. This is a breakup for sure. And yeah, this is you, you're, this is a breakup and here you are looking towards your future right here mm -hmm. it's possible you're leaving somebody here and it, it's a it's a real burden to you it is a possibility it looks like you don't trust somebody here and you're just thinking you know or you're not happy with that person you are just thinking it's it's best that I go but here you are Libra three of wands uh, you know looking out um, at the future I feel like you are regardless of this you know breakup or whatever yeah, you look like you're being... We have her right here, uh, Adas, and she is fearless. Yeah, she's like, don't screw with me. Mm-hmm, I'll whoop your butt. <laughs> this is fearless, justified, and resistant. So we're going to end this reading, and uh, I feel like it looks like a good reading. It looks like you've been on a, a difficult journey as of lately, though. But, yeah, everything's going to get be better here for sure. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.